Hello fellow crafters. Today I'm going to share with you one of my Pro 31 Designs projects that I made for my design team. And I'll start off by showing you the items that I used. And then I'm going to sh share with you what I made. Here we go. Okay, we'll start off with this beautiful um, blush, um, mesh bling. I don't know why I said blush. <laughs> mesh bling. And this is the black. I really like this. The really tiny um, flat back pearls. And I really like these. These are just, they're great for some small embellishments, framing, etc. These are your wheat sprays. I use these on my project. May not be the same color, but I did. And then we have these flowers. These are the crystal flowers. They come in a variety of colors. And then um, I also used this um, crafters work craftersworkershop.com template and this um, canvas sheet. I also used um, some. H2O's. These are watercolors. I used my silks and then I used the pink and the watercolor on, on this. This is um, from Hobby Lobby. These I got at my local scrapbook store. So let me share with you what I made. It's um, 8 by 5 and I started off with the canvas. I gessoed it and then um, stamped some script, some swirly, um, swirlies, um, this bird. Then I stenciled the silk on here with the stencil and glossy accented each one. I used some of my paint markers to create these little dots. I have a silver pen that I use to create this and the water uh, H2O watercolors just blended on here. The Believe and Inspire are stamps, uh, stamp set, old stamp set that I have and all I did was um, ink the edges with um, black soot and then glossy accented it. The products that I use from Pro 31 is this beautiful flower. This is the crystal one I showed you but this is a purple one. I used the wheat sprays here and then this butterfly and these stamens I had in my stash and this green ivy trim. I used Pro 31 wheat sprays here as well. I like it curled. And then this flower here is from Pro 31's and I changed the center of it. I took out the silver and added my own color. Here's the mesh. Remember I called it blush? <laughs> Bling. I added that to its tail, the bird. And then I also added this crown. It's a charm crown and to take away so you couldn't tell it was a charm, I added this little bling on top. And then I just added some Tim Hope clips and some ribbon, matching ribbon. I glued it to, um, a, I took a chipboard piece and cut it to the size and slid one of the um, these old vintage bags on it and right here is where I had to cut it so I just took some of my um, tape that I got at Target and I covered it around the edges and then back here and then I used the um, glue the quick dry um, adhesive Pro 31 sells this in her store I used that and a little bit of glossy accents because I wanted to make sure that it didn't come off. So that's my project. Be sure to check out my blog for close-up pictures. And I hope you're having a great week. Thank you. And um, th I just wanted to say thanks for everyone. Um, all your comments are so sweet. And I appreciate it. And I'll just keep, uh, you just keep me going and keep me, oh I almost forgot this is the very small flat back pearls I framed around the edge and then on the edge here I just painted it and then put little black stripes 
so I'm trying to do a little mixed media and this is my first well my second because I've done one canvas already so that's what I created and back to what I was saying I wanted to say thank you for all your comments and um, continuing watching my videos thank you bye now